is what you might call the lowdown on the lowest down of doggy breeds, the Dachshund, or as it's sometimes playfully called, the yard dog. As a matter of fact, it's more than a yard. The chassis is just over four feet, but every little yelps. The Quern's kennels near Langley and Hertfordshire are a sort of Dachshund paradise. You can see that they live long here, but they also live healthily and happily in ideal surroundings. These perky fellows enjoy such rude health, they all put their tongues out. There are about 60 all told and all out in the family. A well-bred Dachshund makes a pretty picture, as these three champions show. A chocolate in the middle and two black and tans. You'll notice the bold carriage of the tapering head, the intelligent expression and the broad, rounded ears. Observe too the muscular, streamlined trunk and the ample chest. It's been said that Dachshunds had their legs worn down by constantly following bicycles. But that's probably a little friction, uh, fiction. Hello, Uncle Great Danes dropped into lunch. A better explanation is the fact that they were originally hunting dogs, trained to go to earth in a flash and seize a badger on his front doorstep. With a Dachshund, it's a case of the nearer the ground, the sweeter the meat, and a bone is always one of contention. It's a treat too, as the usual meal consists of raw meat and biscuit. Well, possession is nine points of the jaw. Uncle believes in a drink between meals. A Dachshund isn't exactly cat-proof, but a little training works wonders. Indeed, animal friendships can be the 